Hi guys, this is Sadiq from Dragon.com and in this video, we'll show you how to flash the latest HyperOS Xiaomi EU ROM on your Xiaomi, Poco and Redmi phone using two methods that is via the fastboot and the recovery method. So please take a backup of all the data on your phone and then let's get started. First off, I'll show you the fastboot method and then I'll show you the recovery method. The step 1 to 4 are same across both these methods. So first off, let's carry out these four steps and after that I'll show you the fastboot method and then I'll show you the recovery method. Both this method will wipe off all the data from your phone. So make sure to take a backup of all the data beforehand and then let's get started. So once you have taken a backup, let's now proceed ahead and flash the ROM file. First off, let's try out using the fastboot method. So your first course of action is to get hold of Android SDK platform tools. So get it from my guide and extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. In my case, I've done the extraction in C drive and these are the files of platform tools. Once you've done the extraction, your next course of action is to enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. USB debugging is required for ADB commands, whereas OEM unlocking is required to unlock the boot order on your phone. So let's now carry out both this task. For that, go to the settings menu, then go to about phone and tap on MIUI version seven times. You will get a prompt that you are now a developer. So go back and go to additional settings and you should now see developer option. Go there and enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. You will get a prompt on your phone. Check mark, I'm aware of all the risk and you'll have to wait for 10 seconds. Once that time frame has elapsed, just tap on OK. And if this is the first time you are enabling debugging, then you might get an RC key prompt as well. In that case, also tap on OK. So with this debugging is enabled, let's verify the same. So go to platform to folder address bar, type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch command prompt inside platform tools. Now type in ADB devices and make sure that you are getting a serial ID. If you're not getting any ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC. Disable and re-enable USB debugging. Tap on revoke USB debugging. Use the official cable that came with your phone and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out these USB tweaks and make sure that you're getting an ID. So once you're getting this ID in the CMD window, your next course of action is to unlock the boot order on your phone. Do note that doing so will wipe off all the data and it might make the warranty null and void as well. So if that's well and good, you could refer to my guide and the video and get this job done using the official me unlock tool. Once you have unlocked the bootloader, your next course of action is to download the Xiaomi EU Hyper OS ROM. So you may either get hold of the weekly or the stable as is even from their names, the stable ROM is the stable one. And you may see as the time of recording, these are the builds which have been rolled out. So you may go to the link as of now using the stable build. So let's go there and you may then download the one which correspond to your phone. It's the phone code name is given here. So in my case, I'm using a Poco F5 whose code name is Marble. So this is the ROM file. So get hold of the ROM file which correspond to your phone. And once you have got the ROM zip file, you will have to then let's move ahead. So now, first off, I'll show you how to flash this ROM using the fastboot method. So let's boot our phone to fastboot mode. For that, type in ADB reboot bootloader and hit enter and your phone will now reboot into fastboot mode. It will take only a few seconds. So let's just wait for that to happen and then we'll move ahead. So now it's in the fastboot mode. Now type in fastboot devices and make sure that you're getting a serial ID. If you're not getting any ID, then you will have to install fastboot drivers. For that, I made a separate guide and a video on the same. You could refer to my guide and get this job done. Once you've installed the drivers, right click on the window icon and select device manager. Then expand the Android phone section and make sure your phone is being shown as Android bootloader interface. So this as well as the serial ID next to fastboot signify that the PC is able to read the phone in fastboot mode and we are now good to go ahead. So now let's start flashing the Xiaomi EU Hyper OS ROM using the fastboot method. For that you will have to extract the ROM file. It will be in a zip format. Simply right click on it and select extract all. Once the extraction is complete, you will get all these files. In this you will just have to double click and launch the windows fastboot first install with data format. So launch this file and the flashing will now start. It's just a batch file. And let me show you the content of this batch file. So it will flash all this file in the active A partition and it will also wipe off all the data from your phone. So make sure you have taken a backup beforehand. And once the flashing is done, your phone will automatically reboot to the newly flashed Xiaomi EU Hyper OS. So guys with this, we are done with the first method. Let me now show you how to flash this using the TWRP method. I am not flashing the ROM as of now because I will flash the ROM using the TWRP. 
So let's me now show you how to get the job done using the recovery method. So regarding the recovery, you will have to first and foremost check mark the initial requirements. So we are done with the first requirement. The second is also done. Third one is also done. Fourth is also done. And fifth one is also done. So we have done till here. Let's now move ahead with the sixth method, with the sixth step. So now you will have to get hold of the recovery file. Once you have got the recovery, you will now have to flash it onto your phone. For that, you may refer to my guide. I have made a separate guide on how you could flash the recovery across all the partitions. If your phone has a recovery partition or if in the RAM disk partition or to the A partition, B partition, I have made all, all the instruction over here. You may refer to my guide. I have also made a video. So you may refer to my guide and the video and get this job done. As of now, I'm using a POCO F5. So let me show you the steps to flash the recovery on the POCO F5. For that, I have got the recovery file. I only need the recovery IMG file. In case of POCO F5, there is a recovery partition. So we could flash the recovery file to the recovery partition. So for that, simply copy the recovery file. I only need the IMG file and paste it inside the platform tool folder. Once that is done, let's rename the file to something shorter. So let's rename it to TWRP and the complete name becomes TWRP.IMG. So with this, we have got the recovery and let's now flash it. In case of POCO F5 and some other Xiaomi phones, we could now directly flash the recovery file to both the recovery A and recovery B partition using just a single command. You could also manually use the A and B partition as well. But instead of that, you could simply combine both this command into a single one and simply use this command. So copy this command and paste it in the CMD window and hit enter. And it will now flash the TWRP recovery onto our phone. So let's verify the same for that type in fastboot reboot recovery and hit enter and the flashing will now and your phone will now reboot into the TWRP recovery. The first boot up might take up some additional time. This is completely normal and nothing to worry about. So as you could see, we are now inside the recovery. So with this signifies that the flashing has been done successfully and now you could flash the ROM file. But before that, you will have to do a format data. This will wipe off all the data from your phone. So make sure you have taken a backup beforehand. Once that is done, go to wipe format data type in yes and hit the blue check mark and with this the format data is now complete and you will now transfer the ROM file onto your phone. So as of now you will now have to transfer the ROM zip file and not the extracted file. So in our case this is the zip file so simply copy the file and do the transfer using the MPP method. It will take a few minutes so if your phone is not visible on your PC then you may also use the adb push command to transfer the file. So for instance, let me show you the syntax is adb push file name such let's assume it's rom.zip forward slash and SD card and hit enter and the file will be transferred onto your phone. Just make sure that the name of the file is rom.zip and the rom.zip should be transferred to the platform to folder on your PC. So transfer the rom file here, rename it to rom.zip and then you may use this command to transfer the file if your phone is not visible on your PC. In our case, the phone is is visible and we are doing the transfer and it might take a couple of minutes. So let's just wait for the transfer to complete. So guys, the file has now been transferred. So let's flash it for that. Go to the install section, select the ROM zip file and do a right up to flash it. And the flashing will now start. It could take up to around six to eight minutes. So let's just wait for the flashing to complete. So guys, the ROM flashing is now done. You may now reboot your system to the OS. So just tap on reboot and then select system and your phone will now reboot to the newly flashed OS. Do keep in mind that the first boot up might take up some additional time frame. This is completely normal and nothing to worry about from the subsequent time that will not be the case. So let's just wait for the boot animation to appear, which will signify that the flashing has been done successfully and it will take only a few more seconds. Then the boot animation should appear and after that we will check out the ROM as well. So let's wait for the phone to boot up. So guys, we have got the boot animation and it took a li little bit longer. So don't be afraid or worry if that is the case with you as well. For the boot animation to appear, it took around 25 to 30 seconds. And now your phone will boot to the OS. This will again take a little bit longer. So let's just wait for that to happen. So guys, we are now inside the setup process. Let me quickly carry out the setup and then I'll take you to the OS. Let me skip the initial setup process and simply accept the terms and condition and skip the rest of the stuffs and 
let's skip this as well for now if you want you may restore the data right away i am not doing that and i am simply skipping this so that we could go to the os as soon as possible and let's select the full screen gestures and okay so as of now i'm skipping this step as well and with this we are inside the xiaomi hyper os and th this is the app icons as you could see and these are the qs tiles as you might be aware the revamped qs tiles let me agree with this and as you could see from here it's transparency and apart from that this is the not notifications and from here then you could access the settings menu and sign into your account and this is your device section xiaomi hyper os for the poco f5 and apart from that you have a few other tweaks in the interconnectivity you could check out the features from here then there are a few wallpaper and lock screen customization you have to agree to the terms and condition and select the themes fonts aod's icons styles apart from that you may also choose the themes from the store as well you have to go online and then choose those themes from there these are some of the aod style which comes inbuilt with the phone itself and you may select them from here apart from that you may access the online themes from this section then there are a few icons which you could tweak and select from here this is the old zomi icons which you used to get on older zomi phones then apart from that you may increase or decrease the icon size change the background color or change the icon style as well then there are a few effects ui and ux effect notification pulse effect don't know that this tweak will lead to additional battery drainage so all this tweaks will give you a, a much better ui ux experience but it will come at a cost of additional battery drainage so if that's well and good only then proceed ahead to enable these toggles apart from that there are a few lock screen tweaks then you may go to the display and brightness section and choose from the light mode or the dark mode let me show you this then customize all the other features from here and these are the few other tweaks so guys on that note i rounded the video on how you could flash the zomi hyper os eu rom using both the fast boot and the recovery method just to round off in case of recovery you have to flash the rw ip recovery do a format data and flash the rom whereas in case of fast boot method you just have to extract the rom file so let me show you just extract the rom file and then boot your phone to fast boot mode and then use the fast boot windows fast boot first install with data format data wipe and this will wipe off all the data from your phone and flash the rom file you could use any of these two methods to get the job done and on that note i round off this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching